In Proposition 7, we prove that with any straight line, if two lines are drawn from both ends meeting at a point, and if we have a second set of lines drawn at the same ends congruent to the first two lines, then the point at where the lines meet will always be the same. So to begin, we are given line AB with two lines drawn meeting at point C. Now the way Euclid proves this proposition is we assume that it is possible to have a second set of congruent lines meeting at a different point. So we have two lines drawn meeting at point D instead, and line AC is congruent to line AD, and line BC is congruent to line BD. So now Euclid says that at every point D above line AB that we pick, we can always reach a contradiction. So to begin, we use postulate 1 to create line CD. Now since triangle ACD has two sides that are congruent, then by proposition 5, angle ACD is congruent to angle ADC. Next, looking at angle ACD and angle BCD, we can see that by axiom 5, angle ACD is greater than angle BCD. Since we also have that angle ACD is congruent to angle ADC, then by axiom 5, angle ADC is also greater than angle BCD. Next, looking at angle BDC and angle ADC, we can see that by axiom 5, angle BDC is greater than angle ADC. So now, since angle BDC is greater than angle ADC, and angle ADC is greater than angle BCD, then angle BDC must be greater than angle BCD. Next, since triangle BCD has two sides that are congruent, then by proposition 5, angle BDC is congruent to angle BCD. But we just showed that angle BDC is also greater than angle BCD. It's not possible to have both true at the same time, so we have a contradiction. Now the reason we have this contradiction is because we assume that line AC is congruent to line AD and line BC is congruent to line BD. So these two statements must be false. And this shows that the second set of congruent lines cannot meet at a different point D and must therefore meet at the same point C.